All right, guys, today we are talking about capacitors. That's right, capacitors. Everything from the little ceramic discs to electrolytics. And specifically, we're talking about measuring them and knowing if they're within spec, you know, if they're working. And there are different ways to do that. I mean, you can buy an ESR meter or you can get a DVM that has a capacitor function. But we always like to talk about our Arduino here. So why don't we build an Arduino powered capacitor tester? It's uh, pretty simple to do. Let me bring this little guy in here. Zoom in. So you see we have uh, four connections, all right? This blue line coming in here is our charge line to charge the capacitor. And it comes through a known value resistor. This is a 100K resistor. And it goes out, the yellow, to our meter, which will be the analog zero on the Arduino. Then we have our discharge here coming off a 220 ohm resistor going off to our discharge port. And from this common bus line from charge to meter, we have our capacitor hooked up here and this white line is going to ground. Now the reason we can do this and the reason it works is based off of what's called the time constant, which says resistance times capacitance. That's how you get your time constant. So if we have a, oh, let's see, a 10K resistor times 100 microfarad capacitor, then our time constant is going to equal one second. And that's based on the fact that a resistor is considered charged when it reaches 63% of its charge status. So let's hook up our little add-on circuit here to the Arduino. Now this is the same configuration Arduino as we used for the frequency counter. There's, there's nothing extra here. It's just an LCD screen hooked up with a potentiometer for contrast control. If you don't know how to do this, I'm not going to go over it again in this video. Check out the video on the uh, frequency counter. I'll link it down below. You can see how to do that. So to hook this all together, I mean, you don't really have to hook it together. I'm just doing it this way. We are going to put our charge pin into D2. Our discharge pin goes to D3. Our meter pin goes to A0 because we want to read an analog value off of here. And ground just plugs into ground. All right. Now let's go look at the programming for it. All right, guys, here we go with the code. This is the Arduino capacitor tester by me, Learn Electronics, on 10 January 2017. And this is adapted from an original sketch by Paul Badger in 2008. Credit where credit is due. We are going to include Liquid Crystal Library since we're printing to the LCD. And here are our pins. We have analog pin zero. That's our quote unquote voltmeter pin. Have our charge pin D2, discharge pin D3. And here is our resistor value. Now, like I said, I'm using a 100K resistor, so that's 100,000. 
a little F there at the end tells the compiler that it's a floating point value. And the Jetsons one in. Next we have liquid crystal. These are our liquid crystal pins. An unsigned long variable called start time. An unsigned long variable called elapsed time a float called microfarad and a float called nanofarads. Now we come down to our setup. Our charge pin is output and we set it to low so that it's not doing anything. We don't want it to charge the capacitor until we're ready. We're going to activate the LCD screen. You know me, I always have that serial begin in there so we can debug and we're going to set our cursor to the upper left corner row one column one print Arduino powered column zero row one LCD print cap tester they're gonna wait for three seconds so that we can enjoy the work we've done then we're gonna clear the screen and we're gonna print this which is going to remain on there for the rest of its usage capacitance plus minus because we ain't perfect. All right, here is our loop. Now we set the charge pin high so it begins to charge the capacitor and our start time equals millis, which is the current milliseconds since the program has been running. And we say while the analog read of the analog pin is less than 648 because 647 is 63% of 1023 which is the maximum value of the analog to digital converter. Elapsed time equals millis minus start time and then we convert that to seconds. Our microfarads equal our seconds divided by resistor value times a thousand. Now this is a neat little area where we decide whether we're going to give you the results in microfarads or nanofarads. So we say if microfarads is greater than 1 and set the cursor to the second line, LCD print the value, skip over 6 spots and print the microfarad. I know that's not the correct symbol for micro but it'll work else if the value is smaller then we're going to convert it to nanofarads which is 10 to the minus ninth farad nanofarads equal microfarads times a thousand multiply by a thousand to convert to nano see easy peasy set our cursor to the second line again same thing we're going to print our nanofarads come over six spaces and print nanofarad because we always want to tell people what unit we're giving them their measurements in. Then we discharge the capacitor by setting our charge pin to low and our discharge pin to output then to low and we wait until it's completely discharged by the analog pin going to zero. We reset our discharge pin to input and that is the end of that. Let's go and see how this bad boy works. Oh, one last thing. Remember all my sketches are now available on Dropbox. You can download them. The link is in the description below. Alright, we've sent the code out. Let's apply some power. This is a 22 microfarad capacitor. Let's see what my meter says. Now it can take a second here charging through this 100k resistor. 21 microfarad. I was going to say if you're going to be testing larger value capacitors you might want to cut that down to a 10k resistor. So 22 it reads 21 I mean I'm I'm happy with that, right? All right, let me pop that out of there. And we'll put in another one. This is a uh, 100 microfarad. Three 
reset her here. See what it reads. Wow, it's only reading 50, so that's a, that's a questionable capacitor right there. All right, what else I got here? That's another 100. That, was that 100? Yeah, that was 100. Uh, let's put in a little ceramic disc capacitor and see what we get out of it. Seventy and sixty is flickering in there pretty quick. It's forty-seven nanofarad, so it's a little off, but close enough. The math can be tweaked if this isn't accurate enough for you. Well, then go buy yourself a nice meter. But I think it's a good project, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. I appreciate everybody who's been commenting so far especially the guys that gave me some advice on the programming of the frequency counter or no programming of the uh two seven two digit seven segment temperature thing i appreciate that i thank you i'll see you next time and if you haven't subscribed yet what the heck are you waiting for